Hello and welcome guys to a new video of Deception where we will begin with the equation of a straight line. If you like our video, do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel Deception and share this video with all your friends. Now this equation of a straight line will be a four part video and this video is the first part. In this video, we will begin with equation of a straight line. I'll tell you why do we study equation of a straight line and I'll also give you the basics, the introduction and concepts regarding equation of a straight line. First thing, equation of a straight line is a part of coordinate geometry. Now coordinate geometry is that section of mathematics in which we deal with sums and problems based on geometry using the properties of algebra. Okay, now we'll move on to equation of a straight line. First thing, why do we study equation of a straight line? Now, in the Cartesian system, what is the Cartesian system? This is the Cartesian system x, x negative, y, y negative. The horizontal line is the x axis and the vertical line is the y axis. Now, if we want to represent any line, any straight line in this particular Cartesian system, we have to draw both the axis and then we have to draw the line. Is it the only way to represent this straight line? No, this is not the only way. We can also represent this straight line by an equation in x and y, two variables. Okay. So if I want to represent a straight line, I will have two ways to represent the straight line. On a piece of paper, I can construct the axis and draw the straight line or I can simply write the equation of that straight line and get that straight line. So this is why we study equation of a straight line to understand the equations and find the equations of the given straight lines in the Cartesian system. Now the first thing to do that, the first thing that we need to know is the angle of inclination. Now what is angle of inclination? For example, take this particular line only. Now this particular line is not parallel or perpendicular to any of the major axis, the x axis or the y axis. This is basically oblique with respect to the Cartesian axis, the x axis and the y axis. So what is angle of inclination? The angle this particular straight line is making with the positive side of the x axis is called the angle of inclination. So let me call this an line AB. So the line AB, the straight line AB is making an angle theta with the positive side of the x axis. What is the positive side of the x axis? The right hand side of the x axis. So this angle theta is called angle of inclination. Okay, now take this line. Now this line is also making an angle with the positive side of the x axis. That means like this alpha. So over here alpha is the angle of inclination. Okay, now angle of inclination gives a rise to three particular type of lines that we need to study. Let me rub out all these. Let me just write angle of inclination theta. Okay, number one, when theta is equal to zero degree, what happens? Let me construct a Cartesian system over here. What was the angle of inclination? A line that makes the angle with the positive side of the x axis. Okay, so if it is zero degree, it is not making any angle with the positive side of the x axis. That means it is either the x axis or any line which is parallel to the x axis. So any line which is parallel to x axis like this, like this makes an angle zero degree with the positive x axis and that particular line is called horizontal line. Number two, when theta is equal to 90 degree. When theta is equal to 90 degree, we will get perpendicular lines to the x-axis, something of this sort, 90 degree, this sort, 
90 degree now these lines are parallel to the y axis and these lines are called vertical lines and any angle of inclination leaving 0 degree and 90 degree I'll just write theta over here is called an oblique line that means any line which is not 0 degree and not 90 degree that means lines of these sort all these kind of lines are called oblique lines okay now this was the introduction and concepts regarding straight lines in the Cartesian system now we'll move on to the slope of a particular straight line from here you need to study it more properly moving on to the slope moving on to the slope of a given straight line slope it is denoted by m what is the slope for example take this particular straight line i'll name it ab the angle of inclination of this straight line is theta with respect to the positive x-axis the slope is equal to tan theta that means if the angle of inclination of any particular straight line be theta angle of inclination is equal to theta then the slope m is equal to tan theta okay so this is the slope now slope is a very important thing and all the sums in this particular section equation of a straight line is based on the slope now there is also a formula for slope how do we find it for example take this particular straight line ab now if we have two given points lying on this straight line for example over here x1 y1 and over here x2 y2 the slope s l o p e will be equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so this is the formula of slope if two points on a given straight line is given now we move on to the next thing which is intercepts moving on to intercepts now we have the Cartesian system over here the x-axis and the y-axis we also have a given straight line which meets the x-axis at A and it meets the y-axis at B so we will have coordinates of A and coordinates of B first of all what will be the coordinates of A it will be of this fashion A 0 why because the coordinates of any point lying on the x-axis has the y coordinate equal to 0 and the coordinates of B will be of this fashion 0 B why because the coordinates of every point lying on the y axis has the x coordinate equal to 0 now what are the intercepts this is the origin O if the straight line meets the x axis at A the length OA is called the x intercept and if that straight line meets the y-axis at B, the length OB, the length from the origin to B is called the y-intercept. Now over here, the x-intercept is equal to A. Why? Because the coordinates of A, capital A, is small a 0 and the distance OA is nothing but A and the y-intercept OB is equal to small b. Why? Because the coordinates of capital B is 0 small b and small b is nothing but the distance from the origin to the point B. So this is called the intercepts of a straight line. Now a few things. If we have an horizontal line like this it will not have an x-intercept because it does not touch the x-axis and if we have a vertical line a vertical line has no y-intercept because it does not touch the y-axis 
okay now we'll move on to the next thing moving on to the most important thing for which we have learned all the topics in this video how to find the equations number one how to find the equation of a straight line which is parallel to the x-axis that means a horizontal line let me first make the Cartesian system this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis y negative x negative now let me take any line which is parallel to the x-axis the line will be of this sort a b now the line a b is parallel to the x-axis and the line a b is intersecting the y-axis over here now this point of intersection will have a coordinate the coordinate will be of this fashion 0 b why 0 b because the coordinate of any point lying on the y-axis has the x coordinate equal to 0 so the coordinates of the point of intersection will be 0 b so what will be the equation of this particular straight line the equation of this particular straight line will be y is equal to b or y minus b is equal to 0 and b is the y coordinate of the point of intersection of the straight line and the y axis now we'll move on to the next thing which is how to find the equation of a straight line which is parallel to the y axis and rub this out i'll rub this straight line okay cartesian system now i'll draw a straight line which is parallel to the y axis okay now this line pq it is parallel to the y axis and this line is intersecting the x axis over here the point of intersection will have a coordinate and the coordinate will be of this fashion a 0 why a 0 because for any point lying on the x axis the y coordinate is always equal to 0 so what will be the equation of this particular straight line pq the equation will be x equal to a or x minus a equal to 0 so this is the equation of a straight line which is parallel to the y axis or vertical line a being the x coordinate of the point of intersection with the x axis now we move on to the next thing moving on to the next one which is slope intercept form here is a diagram this is the given straight line and these are the axes the x axis and the y axis the angle of inclination over here is theta now we see that the straight line is meeting the y axis at b and b has the coordinates 0 c hence the y intercept over here is equal to c that means the length from the origin to the point of intersection is c so now we take a particular point p on this given straight line with the coordinates x and y that means the distance from the x-axis to p is y and the distance from y-axis to p is equal to x and if this distance is c this distance over here is y minus c now what is the slope i told you slope is equal to tan theta if theta is the angle of inclination over here the angle of inclination is theta that means the slope is equal to tan theta and we know by trigonometry some people have curly brown hair tightly pulled back tan theta is equal to perpendicular by base so if we will put this formula over here we have tan theta tan theta will be equal to m because we denote the slope by m m is equal to perpendicular what is the perpendicular we take the triangle b and p the perpendicular for this triangle is y minus c y minus c divided by b b is the base the base for this triangle is x x so we have x m is equal to y minus c therefore y is equal to mx plus c this is the equation of a straight line in slope intercept form where m is the slope and c is the y intercept 
Now we'll move on to the next thing. Moving on to the final two things, one point form and two point form. Now we will start with one point form. Now, if in a given straight line, one coordinate of a point is given and the slope is given, how do we calculate the equation? It is very simple. There is a formula y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1. Okay. Where x1 and y1 is the coordinate of the given point and m is the slope. Okay. It is very simple. Then two point form. When two points lying on a given straight line is given. How do we calculate it? y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1 where x1 y1 is the coordinate of the first point given and x2 y2 is the coordinate of the second point given. Now this is these are the whole things regarding equation of a straight line. Over here there is one thing more. If you compare both these equations, what do you see? y minus y1, y minus y1, x minus x1. Only at the place of m, this particular thing is given. That means m is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Now this is the thing that I told you when I taught you about slope. The formula of slope is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So we also get the formula of slope from this. Now we have all the things covered regarding the introductions and basics of equation of a straight line. In the next video, we will proceed with some sums based on these topics. Till then, stay tuned and as always, goodbye, take care and all the best.